Hey there, Tinkercad friends. I am back with another awesome addition to our sweet Tinkercad Jet. My friends, today not only are you going to get to use this, I am going to show you how to share it with your friends. So, let's get cracking. First, of course, let's click on our design and open it up by clicking Tinker This. Once you are in your design, you can of course check it out just like always, seeing how awesome it is. If you don't have these pieces added, that means you did not see the sweet lesson too that I put out a day or so ago. Uh, just check that out. I'll put a link up here in the corner as well. But this is the awesome share command. When you hit send to and scroll all the way to the bottom, it lets you invite people to check out your project. All you do is copy the link or generate a new link if you didn't have one and then go to your Gmail or whatever mail you use and simply compose a message with who you're going to share with. I'm going to share with my HL Mod Tech account and I'm going to put FS Jet. Add a quick little message and then paste that link in. I'm going to do right click paste and there is my share code. And when I hit send, it will go to whoever I wanted to send it to. Just a quick note, do not ever copy this and try and send it. A lot of students do that and it will not show up. Alrighty friends, so here on the right I have got Kid Harmon and over here I've got HL Mod Tech. This is the link and check it out. When I click this, it launches my Tinkercad and now we both have access to the plane. Uh, this is weird since I have both accounts at the same time, but you can see you can both have your independent colors or your independent views. Uh, as you adjust it, if you change the colors, it shows up on the other person's screen. You can do all kinds of adjustments and work as a team on projects. I had students last year that used this all the time uh, to work together as they made incredibly cool things. I'm going to make my screen as Kid Harmon back to full screen. And today I want to take you to another amazing tool to make our planes even more realistic. What I'd like you to do is click basic shapes and choose all. And then remember at the bottom there are tabs uh, where we can go to the different numbers. We want to go all the way to 13 and check out the swept NASA. When you bring this little dude out, it is a amazing wing. I'm going to rotate it around 90 degrees. Or actually, let me get so I'm looking at my plane from the front. So that way it feels right. And I'm going to do a front corner. And I still want to rotate this, but I want to rotate it 180 degrees. Remember, if you stay close to the shape, you can use those long snap marks. If you go out, you get one degree snap marks. I'm going to fit view to that shape. And then check out the variables that we get to work with. You can change the exact dimensions so if you had a perfect size plane you were trying to build you can adjust these millimeters to what you want for instance if we hit five for the tip cord watch this it totally rebuilds that with a size five tip cord now i think 10 worked good for that shape so i'm going to put it back and then i'm going to rotate this so that it can replace this wing when I switch it to 90 degrees, see now I'm close to the middle of the shape. So it goes to the 90. If I move way out away with my mouse, then it goes one degree at a time. And we want that 90. If you do something wackadoodle, you can also click the box and type the negative 90 that you wanted. And it'll snap to that location as well. I'm going to roll my scroll wheel back. And instead of actually playing with the real wing numbers today, I'm going to just use the super fun stretch commands. I'm going to pick a color that I like. I'm going to click on my old wing and I'm going to delete it. And then I'm going to use the arrow keys to nudge this new wing into place. But I'm going to make sure this new wing actually hits the center of my jet. I'm going to go with a darker blue. Arrow keys to nudge it where I want. I'm going to zoom in now with it, that new larger size, and I want to look at it from uh, the right to see if my little bomb is attached and is not. I'm going to do control down arrow so that that does connect. And then by simply doing control D, I can make a copy of it. I'm going to use the amazing flip command to turn it the other way. 
And then I'm going to simply use the arrow keys to nudge it to the other side. I could nudge faster by changing my grid to a different size. And then I'm going to connect that wing together by hiding the fuselage. And then just nudging till it breaks apart and then bring it back. Hold down shift and select both and group them. Just like that, I have added a much more fancy wing to our sweet little jet. You can do these as many times as you want, replacing these, adding cool winglets. All right, friends, let's do one more quick addition today. Instead of featured shapes, once again, I want you to go to all. And this time, I would like you to switch to tab number three. It has got a wheel and a tire. The wheel is more intense. The tire is super simple. I'm going to bring out the tire today just because I think that is what I want to use. It's less work on the computer. And then when you bring your tire in, you can change all its measurements. But I like to simply rotate it 90 degrees and use the very cool D to drop so that it's actually on the level. And then hold shift and shrink it down to the size that's going to fit my jet. When you hold shift, it shrinks every measurement at once. When you're happy, I think that's going to be a good size. I'm going to make it black. And now I can simply use the arrow keys to line it up and move it where I want. Real quickly, I'm going to hide it. And I'm going to grab all the parts of my jet. And I'm going to raise the jet off the ground using control up arrow so that I can attach my gear. Once again, I bring back the view, take a look. That's still not quite high enough, so I'm still going to do control up. Notice I did not take off the select. Ha, I accidentally grabbed the wheel, though. That's cool because I can just click on the wheel and show you that drop again from this angle where it drops it right down. This time I'm going to move right under my jet so I can tell if I really have it lifted up enough. I still don't. I'm going to use the hide trick so that's out of the way. It's real easy to grab all the parts with a rectangle. Lift it up three more millimeters, and let's do my show. That's pretty good. I want my wheel to stay centered, so I'm going to pick one of my middle parts and my wheel. And I'm going to do the align, and we've got that middle set. I'm going to rotate around and see if that's where I want it. I think I'm pretty happy with that. I'm going to zoom in real quick on that wheel, and let's make our connector. Back in the basics, we want to grab a cylinder. All right, friends, so we bring our cylinder out. I'm going to zoom out so I can see it better. I'm going to change the sides to 64 so it's as round as Tinkercad can make things. And I'm going to hold shift and shrink it way, way, way down. With it small enough, I'm going to move it close. I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees. Once again, staying close so that it's easier. And then I'm going to just grab those two pieces. And I know that I want this in the center, so I'm going to do center. And I want it centered this way. And I want it, I'm going to go left first. Then I'm going to do center. And I'm going to do center this way. <laughs> now we can't see it because it's too skinny. But I'm going to just click on the black handle here and pull that out so it shows up on this side. I can see the little black handle there and pull it out so it shows up on this side. And you can work on making this as realistic as you want. I'm just going to do Control D, take one of these, and I'm going to stand it up. Notice it said wackadoodle numbers. That's because I was far away. If I stay close, I can get it to do its 90. And I'm going to just leave it at wackadoodle and type 90. And I'm going to use the arrows to move it out. I'm going to do control up to lift it up. I'm going to make it a little taller so that it actually connects in to my jet. I'm going to click shift so I've got those two pieces selected. Notice it says two shapes. I'm going to group them. And then I'm going to group the wheel assembly. But when I group the wheel assembly, I'm going to make sure that I turn on that awesome multicolor. Now I'm going to zoom back out. And I'm going to take that nifty little wheel. And I'm going to put two in the back as well. There's Control D. 
I'm gonna move it back here take a look at it from behind all right so I'm gonna click on my shape and I'm gonna ungroup it for a moment and I'm gonna ungroup the second one as well and then I simply want to make this so it goes up and touches the wing there's my little white handle that I can stretch that's too high but I'm gonna zoom in so I can see it better this way I'm sure I get it to a good spot and I don't want it to collide with that but I'll fix that after I group it so notice I've got the two pieces selected and I group them again I'm gonna group the new tire turn that multicolor back on because it makes it look so much cooler and I'm just gonna nudge it till it's not touching you can go inside outside and now that I'm happy with my wheel then let's spin around and just move that wheel to the other side by doing control D and nudging it across get it so you're happy and then I think I like the wheel on the outside so check this out we can click on our one where the wheels not on the outside and by just doing the sweet flip command poof it looks the other way a couple nudges and you're good to go alrighty friends so we added a few new skills we've got cool epic wings and we learned how to share using that send to command if you make something epic please take the time to share it with me at HL Mod Tech. I will check it out and maybe give you a shout out in a future video friends if you enjoyed this video please give it a like if you got a question comment or a suggestion add it down below if you haven't subscribed yet what are you waiting for smash that subscribe button and last but not least hit the notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.